Kathy Sue just gave me a super cool new game to play. These are emoji cards. You have to spy the matches. I spy with my little eye. A happy face. Can you guys make a happy face with me? Wow, I love those smiles. Now, I need to find another happy face. Let's see. I spy with my little eye. Yes, another happy face. Yay, we found a match. Let's try to find another match. Which one should I pick now? This one? Or this one? Hmm. I spy with my little eye. An angry face. Can you guys make an angry face with me? Oh yes, you look very angry. Let's try to find another angry face. I spot with my little eye. A heart-eyed face. This was my favorite because it means love. But it doesn't match with the angry-eyed face. Let's try again. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Who? Who? What are you up to? Hey, Ollie. We're playing our new emoji card game. It has all the feelings. My favorite one is love. A game of feelings is fun for you. I know someone who went from angry to happy. It's true. So let's hear this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Spy with my little eye. <laughs> our friends! Stormy Jane, it's our friends! They're here for a story. Hi, friends! I'm Carrie the dog walker, and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. Are you ready to play a little Bible story I spy? <laughs> well, great! All month long, we have been talking about our good friend Jesus. Do you see our good friend Jesus? Get out your pretend binoculars and look with me. 
Ready? I spy with my little eye our good friend, Jesus. Jesus is God's son, and he came to teach us how to love others and to be our friend forever. Jesus is alive and we can believe in him. But not everyone believes Jesus is alive. One of those people was a man named Paul. Hey, let's find Paul. You ready? I spy with my little eye, Paul. Paul grew up believing that you had to follow a lot of rules if you loved God. I mean, a lot of rules. Paul heard people saying that Jesus was teaching a brand new rule. Not a lot of rules, just one rule. And Jesus' one rule was, love each other the way I love you. Because Jesus is God's son, they followed him and did what he said. Well, this made Paul very angry. Paul wanted people to follow all of the other rules. He did not want people following Jesus. Do you know what Paul did? He started being mean to people who followed Jesus. Let's see if we can find Paul with his mean face. Look with me. I spy with my little eye Paul with a mean face. Then one day when Paul was on his way to be mean to more people for following Jesus, he saw a bright light and heard someone talking to him. Who do you think was talking to Paul? It was Jesus. And Jesus asked Paul why he was doing mean things. Then he told him to go to a house and wait. After Paul saw the bright light, he couldn't see anything, but he did what Jesus told him to do. Someone had to help him find the house. Do you see a house? Look with me. I spy with my little eye, a house. Some of Jesus' friends came to the house to help Paul. They helped Paul because Jesus had taught them the new rule. Love each other the way Jesus loves you. After a few days, Paul could see again. Do you think Paul believed in Jesus now? <laughs> he sure did. Angry Paul, who was mean to people, became happy Paul, who loved people and believed in Jesus. Everyone can believe in Jesus. And when we believe in Jesus, we love people the way Jesus loves us. Oh, hey, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. And it's all true. When Paul believed in Jesus, it made his heart brand new. Thanks, Ali. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Paul believed in Jesus, so Paul started loving people the way Jesus loves people. Paul went from angry Paul to happy Paul. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good! When I believe in Jesus, I can be happy too. And I can love people the way Jesus loves me. I'm going to show my friends how much I love them by sharing my game with them. See you next time. Bye! These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, 31. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, 31.
Hey preschoolers, this is Miss Corey from the Highland Park campus and I have with me my dog, Evie. So I'm sitting outside because it's a gorgeous summer night and then this is one of my most favorite times of the day because I get to sit outside and I watch the sun go down and all the colors mix together and it's just gorgeous and it makes me appreciate all that God creates and the beauty that he puts out there in the world for us to see. So this week we learned about Paul's conversion and one way we can talk about Paul's conversion is feelings. So we can talk about his feelings before Jesus and talk about his feelings after Jesus. So before Jesus, I would describe Paul as angry. Can you show me an angry face? My angry face is, Err. Evie, can you make an angry face? No, no angry face. So after he discovered Jesus, he became happy. So let's make a happy face. My happy face is, yay, that's my happy face. Evie, can you make a happy face? No, no happy face from Evie. <laughs> and so he spent the rest of his life telling others about Jesus. And another way, since it's a gorgeous summer night and a gorgeous day in general, I'm going to have my daughter Marley, who you might remember from the May memory verse, um, show how she's using the memory verse in a creative way using sidewalk chalk, but she's also using specific colors that tie in to feelings. So let's see what she's up to. So there's this guy named Saul. He was hurting people because they believed in Jesus. So what happened is Jesus made Saul see himself. And what happened was Saul became a good person. But he was still kind of sad that he was hurting people who believed in Jesus. So he had regret? Yeah, he, he was really sad about that. But he was happy that he now believed in Jesus and he wouldn't be hurting people. Okay, so can you tell us about our memory verse? Our memory verse is, These are written so that you may believe Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John twenty thirty one. Very good. So tell us about the colors you're using. The colors I'm using. I'll be using like red and I guess kind of like a magenta, which is a really dark pink. Okay. So like kind of angry colors. And then I'll be using blue for really sad colors because he was sad that he was hurting people. Mm -hmm. And at first he was angry. Okay. And then I'll be using kind of like um, pink, purple, orange, and yellow for like all the happy colors that he was feeling. Say that one more time. All the what colors? All the happy colors. Very good. Because he was feeling lots of happiness at the same time. Very good. All right. Thank you, Marley. Bye. Bye. Hi, guys. This is Lighthouse Kids. I'm Jorian, and this is my mom, Barbara. And we're back with some more funniest stories. And this month, we're studying the virtue of faith. And faith means being sure of what, what we, we hope, hope for because we know and trust in Jesus. And so, Jorgen, that reminded me of that one time we were driving home from the International Spy Museum and then got stuck in traffic. Oh, Jorgen, who knew that the International Spy Museum could be so much fun? That I was, know. It was insane. It was amazing. I, and your hat is incredible. Thank you. You look like such a spy. Thank you. I almost look like one of those double agents in World War II. It was really cool, right? Ready to go home? Yeah. All right. Off we go. One hour later. This traffic is so heavy. Yeah. It's amazing. It's going to take, take us forever to get home. Wow, dorks. Look at all these cars. It is like a parking lot. Oh my gosh, the cars, it goes on forever, for miles. Okay, well, Jorgen, it is five o'clock, and at this rate, it's probably gonna take us like two or three hours to get home. But we have to feed the bunnies at six. Oh, you're right. Oh, poor, poor bunnies. bunnies. Many unbearable hours of Lita. <laughs> Baby bunnies, are you so hungry?
get some food? We're so sorry. Yeah. Silly traffic kept us from our bunnies. But we will always come to take care of you. Yeah, we always will. Just like God. They had faith. They have to have faith that we will always come take care of them, just like we can have faith that God will always take care of us. He's a bunny spy. <laughs> Even though we got home a little bit late, and you could tell the bunnies were very hungry, they still kept faith in us because they know we'll always be there to feed them. And they trust us. Even though we were a little late from the traffic. You know what, Jorgen? That makes me think about God. Because we can always trust that God will be there to take care of us. We'll always have faith. And he never gets stuck in traffic. Or ever goes to spy museums. Maybe. Maybe sometimes. Bye, kids! Bye, kids! This is Olivia and Elise. They're twins. We, we've just always had a very open relationship and communication in this family about Jesus Christ and how he carried our sins on him when he died on the cross. He made the world and he made us and he gave us a life and he gave us, he made everything that exists. And he gave us his son to die on, on the cross, cross and so that we could be with him forever. Olivia and Elise believe in and love God. Whenever I need a friend or I need someone to look to, I always look to God. If I had to describe Jesus with one word, I would just say, he's my savior. The girls were about four years old. We were coming home from vacation Bible school and the girls were in the back seat and they were asking. We were asking, does grandma know Jesus? And she said, yes. Huh? Does grandpa know Jesus? Yes. yes. And they proceeded to go through all the family members until they got to Uncle Martin. Does Uncle Martin, Martin know Jesus? Jesus? No, no, sweeties. Sir. Sadly, he doesn't. And Olivia got really upset and was like, what? No, what? We're all going to be in heaven. We're going to be having a party, having cupcakes. I think when we were that little, we imagined cupcakes and cake and chocolate. So they just really demanded we call him right away because they wanted to tell him about Jesus. We need to call him right now. Called him as soon as we got home, and he wasn't home, and we called and called and called until he was there. When we got a hold of him, I said, Olivia has something super important to talk to you about. So Olivia got on the phone, and and I said, Uncle Martin, why don't you believe in Jesus? And she said, Well, um, he was what. Well, chuckling a little bit uncomfortably. It was my turn to talk, and so I got down on my knees and prayed. And maybe I prayed for an hour. Well, we kept praying for him, daily, weekly, whenever we could, and we talked to him whenever we could as well. He proceeded to listen to them because these are his four-year-old nieces and Olivia talked to him about how important it is and just Uncle Martin it is so important we're all gonna be in heaven you need to be there with us and about a year later one day he said I'm ready we had no idea the impact that these two four-year-olds had on him Olivia and Elise know that the Bible says this in the book of John chapter 3 verse 15 Everyone who believes in him will have eternal life. They wanted Uncle Martin to be in heaven with them, and God, and the rest of their family, forever. He did ask my, my father to baptize him. Baptism is a way to show that you believe in Jesus and want to follow him. People can be baptized by being quickly dipped under water. 
and Elise and Olivia wrote a speech. I said, we have taught Uncle Martin to love Jesus. I said, we prayed for Uncle Martin and he believes in Jesus. And I asked Uncle Martin, do you believe in Jesus? Yes, I do. Yeah. It's so special to him that you guys prayed for him and supported him and told him about the truth and the good news, right? The good news. The good news. <laughs> Everybody should know. Everybody. Welcome, friends, to God in Science Minute with me, Gordo. <laughs> I bet you're wondering, what does God and science have to do with one another? Everything! Ha ha! Did you know that God created everything? Everything was created by him and for him. Number two. God created people. God created you. God created me. God created our minds. And number three, God and science go hand in hand like ice cream in summertime, like Fourth of July and fireworks, like Andy and Shane. I really need to lock that door. Thanks for inviting us, Gordo. Well, I didn't invite you. Well, it's good to be here anyway. Yeah, totally. Huh. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Stop! Stop! Oh, no! Andy. Yes! Uh, so, uh, are we going to watch a movie? No, put down that two-liter soda and the candy, and no, we're not going to see a movie. This is part of an amazing experiment in faith. Oh, oh I, I think I know what faith is. Faith is being sure of what we hope for because we know and trust in Jesus. Well done, Shane. You are correct. Amazing memory. Yeah, totally. Way to go, Shane. Now, I need all my budding experiment scientists to come in closer. Come in, come in. Come in even closer than that. Okay, this is very important. Extremely important. You must... Always have either Gordo or Mom or Dad do an experiment like this with you. You can never do it alone. Here's what we're going to do. Raise your right leg, foot, shoe, and repeat what I just said with your foot up. We promise to never do this experiment without Gordo or our mom or our dad standing right next to us. Excellent! Now, we're going to go outside and do this amazing experiment of faith. Are you all ready? Shane, undo the top of the soda. Andy, hand me the candy. Andy and Shane, do me the honor of reading the lab notes while I perform this amazing experiment. God is the creator of the universe and the earth and all that science studies. God made everything. Indeed, the world is God's creation. This soda represents the world God created. Indeed, the world is God's creation. This candy represents faith, which is knowing who we trust and who our 
hope is placed in. Our faith is in Jesus. I think we should stand back. Get ready. Indeed, our faith in Jesus changes the world. Bye-bye, see you next time. <laughs>